if you break an arm or break a wrist, mm -hmm. are there different kinds of fractures? Let's talk about simple fractures and compound fractures. Tell me the difference between all the articular fracture, green stick, okay. hairline. So tell me about all those because I don't know what they are. Well, let's start with kids. Um, with kids, there's different fractures that are the, like you said, the green stick or a buckle fracture. What's a green stick? Green stick is just basically where children can break on one side of a bone but not break on the other. Um, and they can bend without breaking, unlike you and I, we will just break. <laughs> we just um, crack it too. And um, the nice thing about that is they have the potential to remodel that, to straighten it out on their own with a, just a simple cast or something like that. Going up to adult fractures, a simple fracture, what w medical terminology would be extra articular simple fracture, which means outside the joint, simple straight across fracture. Oftentimes those can be treated with just a cast or a splint or some sort of something like that. Um, but an articular fracture is where it goes into the joint. If there's any real displacement with those, those generally need surgery to fix them. Or if, an, or if a fracture outside the joint is widely displaced, it oftentimes needs Fixation. When, when you say widely displaced, you mean like when the bone is broken, it comes right on top of it. Is that called, is that a, what's a compound fracture? Compound fracture is actually, we, we call them open or closed fractures now. So an open fracture means there's a cut over the fracture or the bone sticks through the skin. It, many, for many years it was called a compound fracture. Uh, the, the importance of that is that uh, there's a high rate of infection. So those are generally surgical urgencies or emergencies. 